Hi YouTube, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the factory radio from a 2003-2007 Honda Accord. In order to remove the center pocket console, we have to ex expose the screws mounting it. And in order to do that, we have to remove the ashtray. And in order to make that easier, we have to move the gear back. Now, in most cars, you would probably just have to take a, a key and turn and start it. And then you'd be able to move the gear back. Now, in our position, uh, we're not able to turn the ignition on. So if you have a dead battery or you don't have the ignition, then I have a separate video on how to move the gear back uh, if you're in our situation. Next step is to remove the uh, ashtray. Now, if you don't want to get scratches on your car, uh, although we already have scratches on our car, I think the owner did that, uh, you can use a plastic removal tool set like we have right here. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a flathead screwdriver or your tool. You're going to want to wedge it under the side. Then you're going to want to wedge the screwdriver under and sort of try to separate it from the bottom. And for this, I'm going to take two screwdrivers just for added support. As you can see, I have it wedged under both sides. Now, I should be able to just pry it out. There we go. You can see these two notches that keep it in. So when you're trying to take it out, just keep mind of those two notches. All right, so as you can see, those two screws right here. So I'm gonna take them out. Uh, I'm sure I don't need to show you guys. All right, so we got the screws out. Uh, just make sure that you're careful with the screws because there's actually holes in here. Uh, we lost one screw, but we can take it out when you remove the entire thing. So next step is you want to take your prying tool. Uh, you can always use a flathead screwdriver. You want to take this, I guess, bezel out. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pry and you're just going to slide it. Just remove it. Do it on the other side. Now, if you could turn it around. Just finagle it out, like you see, that's what it looks like. Just in case, take note of the notches and where they go. Four holes, four notches. And I guess these are alignment points. Now the next step is to take out the, the ashtray. Now when you look here, you can notice that you can just, I can't angle my fingers under, you can just take it out and it just goes out easily. You don't have to finagle it. Now when you're taking it out, just note that the cigarette lighter might have something connected to it. So it's a wire. You're just going to take the the button, press it down, and slide it out. And there you go. That is the uh, ashtray and the cigarette lighter. I say uh, ashtray because it's actually not an ashtray. ashtray. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have it all exposed, uh, I guess I should just take out the screw. Just gently insert the telescope, and there we go pretty good tool uh, if you ever if you ever need to get something down to drink it's probably good so this is definitely a good tool to keep on hand uh, there's probably some other loose change here a uh, nickel or uh, a dime actually uh, anyway <laughs> to take out the center the center pocket console there I think there are two screws one here and one here so I guess we just take those out at this point we can actually take out the center pocket console now in order to do that you have to make sure that your cover is down and as you can see there is a gap right here where we can take a, I don't know, a or plastic tool, wedge it under, and just take it out. It's just a bit, just a bit over. All right. There we go. That's the center pocket console. I'll probably just connect the wire right here, too. Auxiliary input. All right. I guess I don't have to worry about anything since this car is dead anyway. Next step is to take out this top part where the vents are. Now you can take a flat screwdriver uh, or some sharp plastic tool like we have right here. And just wedge it under. And what you're gonna want to do, if I'm getting close, is just wedge it out. Get it in there and then just wedge it out. As you can see, I just got it. All right, so now I'm gonna do it on the other side. As you can see, it's out on both sides. Now, the step, next step is to take your tool and just slide it out so that the rest of it comes off. Right. I'm gonna do it sequentially on each side just to make sure I don't break it. Okay, so looks like there's one or two more on the far end. 
Okay, that one, the, the farther ones are easier to take out. And when I take it out, I'm going to show you where the notches are so that when you're doing it, uh, you can know where to take it out. Alright, so right now it's connected to something. Okay, so on the bottom, there is a green plug. And in order to take that out, you're going to have, it's a push to release, so you might not be able to see it, but this is what you're supposed to release. And uh, actually, it's not going to even do anything because it's attached. So right now, I'm going to show you where the notches are. One, two, three. And on the other side, there are other three. So they go in this notch, this notch, and this notch. There's also a seventh notch that goes in the middle. All right, so I put the uh, green connector back because it seemed like it didn't any serve any purpose just to remove it. Besides, we don't have to remove the top part uh, fully. Now, in order to take out the, uh, I guess, console, there are three screws at the top, one, two, and three. And at the bottom, let me get my screwdriver. I mean, make my flashlight. There is one and two. Now, they're both bolts and screws, so you can always use uh, a wrench, but screws are always the easiest to take out. So I'm gonna angle it under. Uh, before you hand, you might wanna remove the, oh, I mean, you definitely wanna remove the connector. All I have to do is push, you might not see it, it's easy. You might wanna push the button right here, and then take it out. Uh, bit hard to release but you'll get it when you're used to it and then let me just take out these screws okay there are like I said two of them really tiny but they have a lot of threads and now it should definitely be easier to take out the top ones that one I'm gonna use the longer one all right so as you can see uh, we have the three top screws out uh, they're kind of like the other screws from before so I'm just gonna set them aside now, I'm going to take out the radio. I haven't done this before, so uh, I'm going to see if there's any connectors in the back that I have to be careful that we have to take out. There might be some harnesses that we have to take out, but from what I can tell, we can pry it out from the top. Okay. Be very careful with it. Now, from the back, I'm going to rest it down on the uh, bottom. Now, looking at the back, we have one, two, three connectors, and I think that's it. For this one, it's a simple push to, push to release. This one's a bit bigger, so it looks like it should be easier. All right, so looks like you need a little strength, uh, actually a lot of strength to take this out. But look at this, it's so tiny. I don't know how you're possibly expected to do this. Now, on these ones, it looks like the same deal, uh, except for this one. This one looks like it's just an audio jack. OEM car audio, warranty void if removed. So if you have a warranty, uh, just make sure that uh, you don't ignore this message. I, I don't know if this has a specific way to remove it. Actually, I'm, I'm probably gonna deal with that later. I'm gonna do this one first because it looks like since we already did the connectors. This one also has a connector on this side. A plug, a, a button on this side. So. There we go. Like I said, I don't know why they make the button so tiny. If you're an adult, it's really tricky to get this. And even if you get it, your hands are gonna have like an imprint on them. Even mine do. Now this one, I have no idea how you take it out. Okay, so it's just an audio jack. So I, I, I didn't wanna take it out because I might break it, but as you can see, it's just an audio jack, so you can just take it out. And now that we have all them out, I should be able to pick it up. And that is what the radio looks like or the console looks like action. In order to take the radio out, there is one, two, three bolts, uh, three, four bolts on the radio. So we just have to take them out. Uh, they're either bolts or uh, screws. So whatever you fancy. Looks like you might need to use a wrench for this one. I'm, I don't want to strip it. All right, so if you have the right, an, uh, amount of strength in order to take it out, you just using a screwdriver, you could probably do it. I uh, probably wouldn't recommend it though, because you might actually end up stripping the screwdriver, uh, the screw. So you have a tool, might as well use it. So I'm going to use the uh, ratchet wrench here in order to take it out. This is a number eight bolt, by the way. I don't know why I'm doing it the whole way around, because this is a ratchet. I 
take it out by hand once it's out enough. The screw is really tiny. Uh, make sure you don't lose it. I mean, if you're gonna put the radio back. But even even then, make sure you don't lose it. Once you remove the bolts, it should be pretty easy just to remove the radio. Now, you're gonna want to just finagle it. Just bend it a little bit, not too much that it's gonna actually make a dent. Just enough so that you can slide it out. And there we go. The radio in all of its glory. And as you can see, that's the inside of the console. So, uh, installation is the exact same as removal, just in reverse. So when you're putting the radio back in, uh, make sure you don't ruin any of the circuit boards. They're probably fragile. Make sure that the where the DVD goes in corresponds to the DVD, the where you insert the DVD or the CD. Ancient technology, though. Make sure that when you put it in, you're going to want to just actually make sure. Let me pull it. make sure. Okay. Make sure it corresponds to the right direction and that it's not upside down. And you're going to want to angle it in. Oop. And then after you get it in a position where it just slides down, you should be good. Now in this, at this point, you should be able to put the bolts back in. So just going to screw it in a few threads. It's a bit harder with tiny screws, but uh, eventually you can get it on. So I'm not going to tighten it too much because we're actually going to take this out later so we can put it in our brother's car, my, my brother Miro. Alright, so not too much, but just enough. Like I said, you don't want to strip this screw, so I don't think you need to tighten it too much. I mean, besides, it's a radio screw. I don't think you have to tighten it at all. Alright, so now we're gonna put the console back on. In order to do that, we have to put the we have to connect the cables back. And like always with these cables, putting in is easier than pulling out. So with the blue cable, you can just snap it in. Okay, let me make sure it's facing the right way. I don't think it okay it matters. You can hear the snap. Uh, and oh no, I guess our warrant is voided. So we're just gonna put that back in and hope no one notices that we didn't put it out. <laughs> And the green cable, the flexibilist one, it's going to make sure it's the right way. I'm going to put it in. I'm not sure if this thing going down has anything to do with putting it back in, but I'm just going to put it, I'm going to separate it and put it in to see if that does anything. Alright, so I heard a click, but I don't think it's in entirely. Actually, maybe it is. Alright, so it's in entirely. Now we can just slide it back on. Now, when you're putting it back on, I just want you to note that this nub right here, this nub right here, and on the other side, they also have those nubs. So, they go in this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole. It's easy to recognize because they're round and the other ones are shaped for screws or for notches. Remember that this notch goes in that notch and this bottom notch goes in that notch. There's also another notch on the other side that goes on this notch. And then, don't forget, you still have screws and bolts on the bottom. So, I'm gonna carefully handle this so I don't break it. I'm not sure where the wires do go, but either way, it should be alright. Hopefully nothing gets blocked. Okay, so just slide it on. On the bottom, you're going to have to use the... Right. So it should be almost flush like this when you're putting it on. And when you connect the bottoms, there should be a click. I mean, I hope there should be a click because there were notches. Or maybe they weren't notches, they were just like kind of like nubs that kept that going to the hole. Kind of like aligners, alignment. I think, I think that's good. It looks flush. I didn't hear a click, so I'm... I'm pretty uh, perplexed by that. Now we're going to take our screws, we're going to put them back in. Uh, I'm going to have to finagle the radio a bit just to get them in. Actually, I'm going to put the them on the screwdriver because it's a bit hard to get them on the side. Only a few, screds, uh, a few threads for now. Alright, so once you put the bottom bolts back in, 
you're going to take the uh, I'm not going to tighten it all the way because we're going to take it out later but this is where they go you're going to want to take your the white connector all right so the bolt is now it's fully in all right now you're going to take the connector you're going to put it back where it goes i i don't think it matters okay so make sure that this line aligns with the line over there i'm not sure you can, okay you can see it now i'm going to put it up you should be able to remember where the uh the button was and now it looks like it's in maybe i shouldn't have tightened it because <laughs> my dad's going to take it out anyway all right, so once, once that is done, you're going to want to put the center console back in. Now, to install the center pocket console, you want to take the uh, auxiliary input. You're going to take the two wires that it connects to from the center pocket console. You're going to put them in. I think it's pretty obvious where they go in. Oh, I didn't know they had a jack for iPod. That's pretty cool. That's where it goes. So the arrow is where it goes. The, you can see it, right? The arrow. So... With that done, if I recall correctly, I guess you just sort of try to finagle it. So if I remember correctly, it goes like this. This part is a bit flexible, so we should just be able to angle these screws under. And now, uh, like I said before, the notches go into their corresponding holes. These ones. So just slide it back. All right, so the screw holes are aligned. So that means the notches should be aligned. They're sturdy right now. All right, so the notches didn't make a click for some reason. As you can see right now, it's locked in place. Uh, my hands are just tiny enough to somewhat screw it in, but you're gonna have to use a screwdriver anyway. So let me just get it. And there we go. Next up is to push this ash ashtray back in. Don't forget the connector. It goes in like this. All right. So, I'm just going to angle it carefully. And if I remember correctly, these go these are supposed to go under the rim. So, they just lock in place. Now, we're going to take the last two screws and I'm going to I don't think I can angle it in with just my fingers. I'm going to take our screwdriver, put them on. It's best to have a magnetic screwdriver so that it's easier to do it. All right, so screws are secure. We can put the uh, bezel back on so like I said just want to finagle it on this one pretty goes on pretty easy like I said remember the notches they go in those holes just push it in now after that you're gonna want to take your attention to the top and remember the three notches these just go on uh, if I remember correctly there are no screws so these just go on by snapping in place remember the seventh notch so seven notches in total It'd probably be easier to, like, wait, let me make sure that they're all aligned. All right, so let me just push them in. There we go. Tip top shape. All right, I'm Ayman and I just showed you how to remove and replace the radio and or console on a 2003-2007 Honda Accord. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like or comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Ayman, and I'll see you there. Uh, signing out. Uh, I can't, actually can't get out though, so.